In this installment of my Legendary Weapon Guide, we'll be going over how to obtain the Legendary Torg Assault Rifle, the Kerblaster. It is dropped by a unique named enemy called Midgemong, and you first encounter the pair during a side quest called Symbiosis. Midgemong can be found here, in the Southern Shelf Bay, right around here. And, like I've stated before, I'm going to speed this footage up just because I like these guides to be as short and easy to follow as possible. Before continuing forward, there will be three enemies that you'll need to deal with. I make note of this because these are the only enemies you'll encounter before Midgemong, if you do exactly as I do. Now, you could go the long way around and kill all the bandits and psychos on the other end of the bay, but that takes way too long. Instead, we can grenade jump up to where Midgemong is. All you have to do is jump on top of the new U station, up onto the roof, and then over onto the other roof. Once you are on this roof, throw an unmodded grenade at your feet and jump right before it explodes. This will propel you into the air at just the right height to clear the banister above you. And here is Midgemong. Midgemong is the Bullymong, and the midget riding him is actually just a badass midget. It is important to note that the Kerblaster only drops from the Bully Maw. The Midget does not have the increased chance to drop. Alright, no Kerblaster this time. Let's try again. Alright, now let's head to the gun range. So the Kerblaster is a legendary Torg assault rifle, which means that, like all Torg weapons, it fires gyrojets, not bullets. The projectile that the Kerblaster fires consumes a whopping 4 ammo per shot, but the weapon is extremely accurate and has damage on par with sniper rifles at the same level. Once the projectile impacts and explodes upon a surface or an enemy, it spawns a child grenade on top of the explosion that deals a hefty amount of additional damage. The Kerblaster is a great pick for Kriegs investing in the Bloodlust slash Mania trees, or accidents focusing on grenades. Also, the Kerblaster cannot score critical hits. Overall, the Kerblaster is a fun, high damage assault rifle that is fun to use with characters looking for a little more boom. Thank you for watching, and I hope these guides are helpful.